Hello Kiss fans, this is George from George's Kiss Collection doing another video for you guys. Um, thank you for you guys for watching the last video that I did with you uh, did for you for the Biff Bang Pow action figures that they've been releasing lately. They had a lot of different different figures that came out. Um, they're not the only ones who's making Kiss action figures. The other one is Figure Toys. Um, the Figure Toy Company has been making Kiss action figures for the last few years. Um, they had different uh, variation of figures that they came out with. Uh, Dress to Kill, Sonic Boom, Monster, this is that, and different variants in between. Um, the new latest one came out now is the Series 7 8 inch Destroyer Kiss action figures. These are long been awaited action figures that they've been wanting to come out for the last year. Um, they put a promo release showing these figures and the Dynasty figures and some miscellaneous huge action figure, which I'm not sure they're going to get to that far, but if they do, that'll be cool. Um, the ones that I came out now, just uh, I think two months ago or a month ago, is these Series 7 action figure sets. Um, they've been a lot of good and bad reviews on them so far. Um, the only bad I'm seeing that people are saying is the hair on the action figures. They're saying like Peter's hair is very stringy. Um, the, other than that, or same thing with Aces, they said it was very stringy also too. But if you look at Gene and Paul's, they're pretty much pretty well made and looking very cool. Um, they're very detailed also too. They look very cool. The boots look real nice. Um, like I said, the costume looks pretty good. The Gene Simmons said with the tongue looks really cool. So like I said, the action figures look pretty cool, decent from the previous action figures that they've came out with. The only difference from these sets and the other ones is the shell of the packaging has changed. Um, they're more slimmer, so I'm thinking figure toys now. With the rest of the new action figures that they come out. Because they do come out with other like Batman and wrestling figures and other stuff like that. And they make Kiss ones as well. It looks like they're all going to be coming with this new slim shell case. Um, the other ones before that were a little bigger. And oddly big square shaped. Um, I'm going to show you the difference between the, the casings now. Just to give you an example of how the old ones look like. If you haven't purchased any of the old ones. Like I said, the new one's very slim. I'm going to show you a variant action figure of an uh, old set. And I'll show you a description of how big the sets are. You see, like the old ones were a bigger square set. They had a little more pictures of, uh, of the packaging. And the other one is just more thinner as far as how it goes like that. Um, like I said, there's nothing other than this. They're just destroyed figures. Back, this shows you that they have, uh, shows you the other albums of, series that they came out with. A lot of them are pretty much sold out and retired. You do can find some of the action figures on eBay and I think some on Amazon and some of the websites if they come and go. But a lot of them are sold out. A lot of them are retired. Like the, uh, I think one set, the hardest set to get out of these, of the old set, are the live figures. Um, there seems like those are just long gone. You'd be lucky to grab those if you could find them. I do have a set of the 8-inch figures, but they're packed away. Um, difference, uh, the only thing with these sets, I don't think they're going to make variant sets of these. I think they're just going to make a set of these, a set of the Dynasty ones, and if they make any more, that's how they go. I haven't heard any, any variants of these, but I don't think they would. As far as what I mean variants means is the Figure Toys made variant, uh, action figures of their sets. Um, example, like the Hot in the Hell one here. This is a variant figure from another series. Um... The other series came with different costumes. I think these are with the Dress to Kill ones, I'm thinking. Uh, not the Dress to Kill, I mean the Hotter Than Hell or one of the sets that came out. And um, like I said, it will come with a different backing, different uh, action figure with the costume. And uh, they made different various variants also too, which is more things that KISS does what they do. And they come up with one thing, they come up with a triple of different versions. And as far as with these, they came with another variant of same action figure with blood. And that's, like I said, one comes with blood, one comes with that. And then they guess they made another variant with that same set with bases. <laughs> so this completes like the sets of these variants to showing you of how they came out with. Uh, another version of the variant that they came out with like that is a bandit character. Like this is a really cool one. So the, they made a bandit variant of the Kiss figures. Another one is uh, from the Monster Tour, like Gene with Blood. So these are like variant figures that Figure Toys had made 
with the regular series sets that they come with, really. But with the story ones, I don't think they'll be coming out with them. I think they'll just be standard uh, figures of how they are. Um, like I said, uh, these figures this came out a month ago. I haven't seen any much reviews on them yet. So this could probably be the first one of maybe many once people start getting them in. Um, like I said, um, they're pretty much I'm seeing them sold on eBay, Amazon. You could get them through the Figure Toys website, official website. They run about 120 130 around there, depending on what the shipping and stuff like that. Um, to me, they're worth getting. They look really cool. If you're planning on getting the full set, like I said, if you're a collective action figures like I am, I always try to get the full set and instead of just getting one. If you are planning on getting one, I think Gene is the best one to get. Like I said, it looks really cool. It's very detailed. It's very, like I said, it looks really cool. And um, Ace looks kind of cool too. The costume looks really cool like that with the boots. But um, like I said, uh, these figures are out now. Um, who knows when the new Series 8 Dynasty figures will come out. Hopefully, maybe after the holidays or after the new year. We don't know yet. Um, but uh, if you do get these, like I said, these are worth getting. They're really cool. The packaging is nice. Very slim like that. They look nice on the wall. And it looks really cool with the other ones. Uh, uh, like I said, this this completes this review on these action figure sets. I'm pretty sure there'll be other reviews and stuff like that. On my website, you see... If you want to see the other figures with the variants, you can check out my website, the George Collection at Weebly. And like I said, you'll see the other action figures in the figure section. Um, thank you guys for watching. Um, next video, I'm probably going to do the Kiss Train set on the next video. I'll probably do that after this video because I just got the fifth train now. Um, like I said, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for commenting on the last video I did. Hope you guys do the same with this one. Like, share, put it on the Kiss forums. If, like I said, if they haven't have any views, post it, let everyone see it. I'm pretty sure there'll be other ones better than mine. But like I said, uh, just post them, share them, like them, put comments on them. I'll reply back to them. And like I said, thank you guys for watching. And um, hope you guys enjoy and get these figures. And like I said, it's a nice add to any kids collection. So thank you guys for watching.